Okay guys, here's a 2021 fifth wheel listed at just above $63,000. Uh, let's take a look inside. Uh, these fifth wheels are very big, pretty much like a house on wheels. One of the biggest style travel trailers you can get. Uh, dual axle, several steps up. Okay, and as soon as you come in, you have this uh, living area and open kitchenette. A lot of seating is the first thing you see. All these uh, sofa, sofa and recliner chairs. Okay. And a lot of windows. And of course you have your island style sink and kitchen area, which makes it very nice. A lot of workstation prep areas full almost residential uh, refrigerator LG very big again if you buy a fifth wheel you usually have a family and you're usually full time forgive some of the lighting the lights aren't on you have a three po three burner propane gas stove you do have an oven and you have all this cabinetry again you have this island sink you have a microwave, TV, for entertainment, for personal use. Uh, this is, okay, you have some nice accent lighting above. Again, the electric isn't on, but either way, you still get a perspective. This whole area here is a pop-top, uh, excuse me, a pop-out, okay? So when you're driving, this is, uh, you know, comes in, and when you get your campsite, it comes out. And you have some nice uh, cabinetry. It's like a wood style cabinetry and then you go up the stairs there's a grab handle which is nice for seniors uh, this is your one and only bathroom it has uh, of course a sink vanity separate toilet area cabinetry and this is a little slider door and this is your shower area okay and then off the shower area is your master bedroom. This is also a pop out. And you have cross ventilation, queen size bed. Okay. And then you have plenty of storage for your master, master closet. Again, excuse me, it is dark. Forgive me for that. Uh, we don't have the lights on, but I'm giving you some perspective here. Do have a little bit of a, uh, you do have a dresser, another window. And look, you know, for sixty-three thousand, this is a, a nice home. However, you still have to have campground fees. You still have to have a, a vehicle rated to tow this, and uh, all those expenses, all that has to be factored into, you know, your lifestyle. It's a lifestyle choice to live in an RV. Uh, of course, you can get this as just a part-time camper too. And uh, that's it. I just figured I'd give you another video.